Hello everybody and welcome back to the Homestead Kitchen. Like many of you, my garden is thriving and I have cucumbers coming out of my ears. So today I'm in the kitchen working hard to preserve and I thought I would take you along and show you this wonderful recipe for a delicious cucumber relish. All right, so first things first, let's go over our ingredients, but I wanna preface this video by saying, I have so many cucumbers to deal with today that I am going to be tripling this cucumber relish recipe. Check the show notes for this video where I'm going to put the entire recipe for a single batch of the cucumber relish. So you're gonna need some red and green bell peppers and some onions. You're going to need some white vinegar. You want at least 5% acidity. And then you're going to want to grab some pickling salt. I've just added all of my pickling salt to this big gallon jar, makes it easier to keep it in the kitchen. Next, you're going to need some brown sugar. I'm definitely gonna need more than this for this recipe, but this is just to show you guys what you're gonna need. And then you can also grab some pickle fresh granules if you choose, that is optional. You don't have to have them if you don't want them. Next, you're gonna need some whole mustard seeds. And then you're gonna wanna grab some ground turmeric. Next up, you're gonna want some whole allspice. We are going to make a spice bag for our recipe today. Then grab you some good cinnamon sticks. Lastly, we're gonna grab some whole cloves. And then you're gonna need some fresh, cool water for this recipe, and I'll explain that in a few minutes. All right, you guys, all we're gonna do now is get to slicing and dicing all the vegetables. Make sure you give everything a good rinse. We're gonna core the bell peppers. We're gonna slice them and dice them. I like to make my bell peppers a little bit smaller because I don't like big chunks of bell peppers in my relish, but there's no rhyme or reason here. This is whatever tickles your fancy. Go ahead and get all your veggies chopped up for your mixture. And don't forget your cucumbers. You can't have relish without your cucumbers. All right, now we're going to dissolve our salt in our pot of water. And again, check the show notes. I've got exact measurements for everything there. Give it a good stir until all that salt dissolves. Now that everything is diced up, we're gonna give all the veggies a good mix. I've enlisted the help of Joe here. He might not admit it, but he likes to hang out in the kitchen with me.
Now go ahead and sprinkle in your ground turmeric to your mixture. We're gonna give it a good mix before we add our salt water. Our salt water is ready to go and we're gonna just gently pour this over our mixture and make sure that it's mixed and incorporated well. Once we have this all ready to go, we are simply going to cover this pot and we're going to set it in the refrigerator and let it stand for three to four hours. Now let me show you guys how I make my little spice bag for this recipe. I don't really have quote unquote spice bag, so I simply use a corner of a tea towel that I've cut up. And we are going to just mix together all of our whole spices, our cinnamon sticks, we've got our cloves, and also our allspice and our whole mustard seeds. We're just gonna gather these all up, tie up the bag, and it's gonna be ready to go for our pot here soon. And the smell of this is delightful, you guys. All right, we have pulled our mixture out of the refrigerator and all we're gonna do now is simply strain it out and I've got an extra pot here to put the strained mixture into and then we'll head on to the next step. Now that everything is strained, all we're gonna do is add some cool water to our mixture, and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator to sit for one more hour. Don't forget to check the show notes for exact measurements. While that sets in the fridge for an hour, we're going to get started on making our pickling liquid. So now is when we're going to add our vinegar, our brown sugar, and our beautiful spice bag. We're gonna bring that to a boil, and then we're gonna just let it simmer while we get everything else ready. I wish you guys could smell my house right now. It smells absolutely amazing. I can't describe it as anything other than the smell of Christmas. Just a little tip, if you want a quick, natural air freshener for your home, make a spice bag and just steep it in some hot water on your stove and it's going to fill your entire home with this beautiful aroma. It's been an hour and I've grabbed our mixture from the refrigerator and all we're gonna do now is strain it again of all the liquid.
All right, we're almost done. So now all we're gonna do is add our pickling liquid to our mixture, give it a good mix, cover this pan, and put it in the refrigerator to set for 12 to 18 hours. Let that marinate really well, and we'll come back a little bit later, heat this up, and start packing our jars. It's time you guys to start canning up our cucumber relish so I'm just getting prepared here with my canning tools. I've got my pickle fresh granules here. Again, these are optional. They just help keep everything crunchy and crispy. I've got my mixture out of the refrigerator. I'm heating this over medium to high heat. We're gonna bring it to a boil. Make sure that you stir it continuously so it doesn't scorch to the bottom of your pan. Once it reaches that boil, go ahead and turn that heat down a little bit and let it simmer until you're ready to pack your jars. Over here, I've got my hot water bath canner heating up and getting ready. I've got all my lids and rings cleaned and ready to go and I've got my jars clean and sterilized. They're sitting in the oven keeping warm. You guys, I am going to link my Farberware kettle in the description box below because it's my absolute favorite. It lights up blue while it's heating and then once the water reaches the boiling point, the light turns off so you know when your water is ready to go. All right, you guys, let's get these jars packed, shall we? Make sure when you're adding your mixture to your jars that you're leaving at least a half inch headspace at the top of the jar so that they seal properly. And don't worry if you overfill them, you can always go back with a spoon and remove a little bit of your mixture. All we're doing now is removing the air bubbles and then we're going to take a wet towel and clean the rims of our jars to make sure there's no food, no relish or anything on the rim that would prevent them from sealing. And now I'm going to add just a smidgen of my pickle fresh granules. It calls for 1 8 of a teaspoon for a pint jar. These are half pint jars so I'm doing a little less than 1 8. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our lids and our rings. And as you guys can tell here, I'm not using the standard metal lids. I'm actually using the last of my metal lids today, but I'm also beginning to incorporate my reusable Tadler lids. I am going to link these in the description box below because you guys, these are awesome. You guys know in 2020, we had a canning lid shortage and we actually still have that going on in a lot of areas around the country. So I decided to invest in in the Tattler lids, which are reusable. They are reusable indefinitely. The seals are good for up to 10 years, it says, before you might have to replace them. So it is a great investment for your homestead. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my rings to my jars. I did wanna note here though, you guys, when you're using the Tadler lids, you do not want to tighten these down finger tight. If you're a canner, you know that with regular lids, it says to tighten the rings down fingertip tight, but with Tadler lids, you want the rings to be a little bit looser. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our jars to our simmering hot water bath canner. Once your jars are added, you just wanna ensure that you have at least one inch of water above the jars. They need to be completely submerged under the water. Now we've got them all added. 
all we're gonna do is cover this pan and we're gonna bring our water to a boil. Once it starts boiling, we're going to set our timer and we're gonna process these half pint jars for 10 minutes. If you're using pint jars, you're also gonna process them for 10 minutes. Once your 10 minutes of processing time is up, all you're gonna do is turn your burner off, remove the lid, and let the jars set for five minutes before removing them. One more tip for you guys with the tabler lids, once they're done processing, you want to go back and tighten those rings with a towel just fingertip tight. With regular lids, you don't do this. You leave the rings as they are, you do not tighten them. But with tabler lids, you've got to go back with a towel, tighten those rings down to make sure that you get a good seal. As I shared with you guys in the beginning of this video, I have a ton of cucumbers to put up. <laughs> so I have tripled this recipe, but the recipe in the description box of this video is for one batch of cucumber relish, and you can double that and triple it as needed. Now in this video, I have used half pint jars, and the reason I did that, you guys, is because we don't use a ton of relish at one time, so I don't want this to go bad. If I open up a whole pint of pickle relish, I'm probably not going to use it all before it goes bad. So using half pints ensures that we're probably going to use it and it's not gonna to go to waste. If you're gonna do a single batch of this recipe and you're gonna use pint jars, you're gonna get about six pints of cucumber relish. But since I tripled this recipe and I'm using half pint jars, I ended up with 41 jars of cucumber relish today. And as you guys can see, these Tadler lids sealed perfectly today. I'll tell you as a homesteader, somebody that is striving for self-sufficiency and not having to be dependent on others, I love having reusable lids in my kitchen. Look at that beautiful cucumber relish, you guys. Give this recipe a shot. It was fun, it was easy, and it's a great way to preserve all those cucumbers. I also did up a bunch of pickles today, as you can see. I think I got 10 quarts. If you would like to see my garlic dill pickle recipe, check out this link here. As always, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today in my kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Babe, stop! <laughs> trying to get a thumbnail here. Gosh. I made pickle relish. <laughs> Do it like the, the people in other countries. Tell me with it on my head. Like that? Oh yeah, see? I am homemaker. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah.